if you just received your beta version of custom rod design studio you put in the disk and you open your disk and your files will look like what's coming up on my computer this is uh, all the files that's in the, this beta version when you first open it up you ought to uh, open up some files and uh, view large icons and uh, well that first file we opened up we might want to go extra large and you can see that those are rods and you can click on one and that will give you a rod design and then uh, and close that and go back open up another file custom rod assemblies view large icons and uh, my computer is running a little slow but uh, I think I've got a lot of stuff open but it will open up here in just a second I see the green bar going across there we go you can see these assemblies are coming up now and uh, if you click on one of the assemblies it'll enlarge you can see and that's a whole uh, assembly design library and then we'll go to fly ride guides uh, I think all of us have to um, click on icons to see these are fly rod guides and you just click on one you can enlarge it you can see the design will come up and uh, this way you can go through the libraries and see what's in the libraries um, there's uh, large icons once again these are this beta version does not have as much as the full version will have but it still has large libraries of designs and uh, you can look down in, in the bottom left hand corner you'll see that they, it says there's 35 items these are real seats um, once again this is a visual aid uh, these real seats are not bait you know I have no product I'm not selling product these are just ideals to give rod builders all the uh, tools as far as looking at designs and building their own designs to come up with rod building uh, let's open that one right there up that looks pretty cool you see how that one there looks like it's got some yellow epoxy <coughs> in the middle of the real seat and let's close that let's close that and go back and go to guides once again these, these are large uh, libraries this is a 189 guides has everything from your straight uh, bait casting guides to all the way up to roller guides actually that's loading up for uh, your bait casting and spinning eyes there's more heavy duty um, casting eyes it should get to the roller guides and depending on your computer how fast things load uh, mine usually works faster than this but I have a lot of things open and uh, I probably should have closed everything out before I started this video but once again you'll see uh, there comes some roller eyes this is the guide designs that are in the uh, beta version 
in the full version there's over um, 800 eye designs and you see all the eyes coming up there you got different type of roller eyes and then you got uh, in this version several types of uh, eyes in different uh, formats and different designs and you can just uh, go to any of them and open them up and just look at the design and you can use these as templates you can do more designs on them you can cross the designs uh, now let's go when you first open this up what's very important is this readme file and it comes in both versions word and pdf because i did this in windows office 2010 which because this file was created in a newer version well it it did it to me but it shouldn't have but there it is and this is going to be the readme file and it, you know getting started and it's going to take you through and here's your files and it shows you how to open up the files this isn't a tutorial this is kind of like what we're doing right now just getting started kind of goes over how to open up some of the tools how to make the page transparent and then it's of course going to have my information so you can contact me when you get in trouble imagine a lot of people is going to be contacting me when they get in trouble All right, let's close that out and as you also see that it's in a PDF that'll be for anybody that can't open up the word can open up the PDF and it's going to be in the same thing that just about anybody can open up a PDF no matter what version of your computer windows you have but it just the version of the uh, PDF and then the next most important file is going to be the tutorial and we're going to open this up in Word And right now I'm working off the same disk that Yara will be working on. Uh, I've got a disk in there, the same disk that I'm sending uh, to everyone. And uh, this is going to be the tutorial. It's going to walk you through most tools from paint and image editors. It's going to tell you all about opening up your tools, but then it's going to go on and have the screenshots where you see the drop down where you make the page transparent selection you usually on older computers will have a a thing that says opaque you, you, you don't want opaque you want transparent this way you'll be able to put designs and there's your select tool it shows you your select toolbox uh, and then when you select something you just go around it with that square and anything in that square you can copy and paste and do whatever you want to um, on my computer I use these a lot these are redo tools if you make a mistake you can undo redo and it shows those tools and then you can see that one right there and then uh, here it shows the same thing it now you can move this around once you put that um, those four arrows in the middle of that you can move that anywhere on the page and that's what that's showing you there and uh, it explains it there in the tutorial paste you just put that arrow in the middle of that hit the paste button anything in that select tool will be um, that's where it'll be pasted um, as you see here we pasted that circle in the middle of that select tool um, you've got your um, here it's showing you your horizontal your vertical 
it's making things go different directions you can turn it 90 degrees your flip tool you can flip things um, your templates and it's showing you how you can go and get your blank templates from blanks you got line templates you got your overlays your overlays are going to be um, where all your um, no that's what they are overlays but there that's where you got to get your guides your ride butts your ride grips and that's where you're going to get your overlays but you can also get them in in templates also these templates right here you got blank projects this is these here are your lines uh, I went ahead and made all the lines I cut them one line equals one thread and you've got one through ten so if you can't take you know like me I can just take and cut one line out of a out of a um, the image of the thread well here you don't have to you can just copy and paste whatever line you want over a design um, here you want to anytime you're opening up anything in this program you're going to you go over the top of it highlight it you'll get a click down it says open and then you're going to click paint open it in paint and do a save as name file and uh, then when you get ready to come out of there um, your original it's going to ask you if you want to save do don't save and your original won't be altered and here you can see uh, the overlays you're going to choose an overlay um, and then you're going to add it to your uh, what I'm going to call a work screen on your template and you notice there's no design that's where your design is going to be and then uh, here you're going to copy it and then you're going to get one of your palettes and here we're going to now what I did and you saw in some of my earlier videos where you had a, a smaller square what I did I made larger color palettes where now you don't have to copy four or five times to get the, enough color for the design to go over it and you um, make the design so see here you're just going to take this put it over this color you're going to use your paintbrush and you're going to right click and it's going to make that blue go away and now you're just going to have uh, the design and as you see here I'm showing where if you don't have transparency you're going to be whited out you can't see the design here you're going to be transparent and you're going over the top and uh, you can see after we've <coughs> put it over the purple then we used our paintbrush made the blue go away and now we have the image of a purple thread on a rod on a roller guide uh, I've only got 15 minutes well I'm done with that so that's a quick view of the tutorial and uh, I believe that's as far as I'm going to be able to go right now so let's go back to our file menu oh by the way this paint this MS paint right here are tutorials that I copied off the uh, uh, Microsoft Web.